Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. I'm just going to get straight to the point. My game room is an absolute mess. Um, a couple of months ago, I brought over a load of boxes from my bedroom at my mum and dad's. Put all my stuff into like plastic boxes and brought it up to the games room with the intention I was going to sort it all out and get it on display and I just never have. Um, so I've gone to the first box here and I thought, well, let's just go through the first box uh, and see what's in there. It's just basically going to be the, the history of of my whole time living at home. Um, could be anything from like the 2000s, 2010s, uh, 90s, even 80s. Uh, so let's just see what we find, and uh, you'll 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 go along with us as it takes us out of the box. It's going to do one box just to see how it goes. Um, I'll I'll just flip you around now. It's basically starting to get. On my nerves that I can't get stuff done in my games room and I can't really enjoy it. Knowing the stuff just feels like it's it's overwhelming you and you just want to get it out the way. So I'd like to go through this stuff and see what I've got and see what I'd like to put in storage, see what I'd like to put on display and see what I'd like to get shot of basically. So let's go. I'll just flip you around now. So I'm gonna go through this box here. As you can see, I've got all these boxes um go right back into there. I won't probably probably record all of these but as you can see some some of the stuff's modern some stuff isn't and um, let's go through this box i think this box contains a, a stuff that's a little bit older so yeah first thing i love you know i love a carrier bag i've got a food giant carrier bag there does that say yeah on it or not um, no it doesn't I always remember when Food Giant opened in, car, in, in my city. Um, in here, it just looks like I've got a lot of old. Uh, looks like dressing up stuff. I can remember going to a party actually dressed in this. Um, I was a pirate and took that to school. <laughs> Don't think I'd be allowed to take that to school anymore. Yeah, so that's just dressing up stuff. Gosh, that smells so old, musty. Right, what else we got in this box? So, a few tapes. I remember this. Blue Army uh, song. Carl United, my city. Red Fox, so what? Featuring Michael Knight in Blue Army. <laughs> hey. I always remember following Carl. I like, started supporting them around 94, 95. And we went to Wembley that, that year. And I think this is the year it came out. that the side oh I'm sure this was the first ever tape that I, I, I got bought from us for me I didn't buy it I got it bought for us got my mum and dad to buy it reach up I love that song by Perfecto All Stars I can remember that watching I'm sure it was um, it was a playoff final between Bolton and somebody else and they played this in the background, uh, showing the highlight reel of both teams, uh, how they got to the, fi uh, the playoff final, and I, I just loved the song, so I wanted it. Yeah, and that was my first tape, I remember. I used to put this in the tape player and just play it on repeat over and over. Michael Jackson, Earth Song. Uh, I think this was quite big when it first came out. It was number one for a while. What year was that? Uh, did it say there? 1995, yep. At the same time as Blue Army song. Let's see what Reach Up was. Don't know if it says. Uh, no, can't really tell. Oh, well. hehe! <laughs> Three Lions '98. What a tune! Absolute tune. It's quite apt actually. For this, for what's going on now? The Euros have started. Vindaloo, another one. Another football one. Yeah, I loved it. Euro 98. Loved, uh, sorry, World Cup. That's World Cup 98. It was Euro 96, wasn't it? So that came out two years... They must have brought this two years after Euro 96 because I'm sure the original Lightning Seeds song came out in 96. I could be corrected on that line. And this was World Cup France 98. Um, yeah. What's these? Ah, ah, Janino. I love Janino when he played for Middlesbrough. 
Brazilian player. <laughs> Miller must be the keeper, maybe. Ah, I remember picking these up as well. This is like the first issue of the right. So, these uh, were originally in Beatties, and me and my uncle uh, picked up a handful each. They were just like, uh, like an advertisement, and I can remember picking up quite a few, as you can see. Maybe we got five there. And this was the magazine that accompanied them. Picked a few of those up. Uh, first first issue. Issue one there. Free of charge for all Nintendo fans. That's why I was allowed to pick them up. I love Pokemon. Yeah, uh, what's these? It's an empty one. Ah, that's cool. Uh, stickers. I wonder if they're from the original um, Nintendo magazine. Yeah, I remember getting these now. Official Nintendo magazine. So I'll have bought these back in the day. That's, that's good to have. I'm chuffed with that. <laughs> oh, that's a drawing of Squirtle that I must have made. Not bad, eh? <laughs> What's this? Um, it's a poster of some kind. Ah, Star Wars, cool. Pepsi poster, Star Wars Episode 1, Phantom Menace. Nice. So I like my Star Wars. Uh, got a Cartman poster here from the Nintendo Official Magazine again. Oh, that is cool, that original post Pokemon poster. Cartman on the other side. South Park, obviously. Another drawing. This time I've drawn Scyther, which was one of my favourites. Got a few more comics. There you are, this one's open. Let's have a look inside. Let's have a look. Right. I want to look in these since the late 90s. Oh, look at them. Awesome. A bit of comic there. A Pikachu poster. <laughs> Pokemon Gallery. I wonder if they brought any more issues of this. I don't think I ever got any. What does that say there? Credits. No, it doesn't say anything about another issue. Now, another one of them. Uh, got another one there. Looks like with some sort of poster again. Another Pokemon poster. Looks like Ash Ketchum's arm. Uh, oh, some more. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't shy about taking them as free copies, was I? Uh, oh, I've got Pokemon Tops trading cards in the original box. How do you open this? Uh, one second, just put this up again so I can lean on there. Uh, let's have a look. I'm guessing that must have stuck up or something like that. I don't want to rip it. Have a quick look in there. Yeah, there's cards in there, you can tell. <laughs> I won't rip it, just open it by hands. But there you go. I also had the original trading cards, uh, the original um, battle cards. I wonder if I've got a full set in there. Maybe. <laughs> um, a Mickey Mouse, which was €5.50, Euros 50, so not sure when I got that. Yeah, does it say a year on it? Uh, Euro Disney. Went to Euro Disney 2004, so that must be from then. Oh, yes, look at this. That's my original one. 
And got this from a car boot sale. 1989. Fantastic. That'll be going in the turtle display. And I love this. The hours I put into this. My original rock control car. Fantastic. Stinger. It's even got the, the charger still. Uh, the charger thing. I wonder if it works. There we go. What a car that is. Still decent nick as well, considering I hammered it. I'm sure I got that from Beatty's, maybe Toy Master, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my mum and dad. Uh, that's the <laughs> remote control, but the wires come off. When was the last time I pushed these buttons? There's no batteries in it either, so I've looked after it. Made in Malaysia, 1984. Wow. Older than me. I was born in 85. Oh yeah. One of those Oxford school sets. Pretty brand new. <laughs> I think it will be. Harry Potter book. Chamber of Secrets. I've got a full set of Harry Potter books somewhere. I'll get it out. One handed. Can't tell whether it's first edition or not. Don't think it is. First published 1998. Copyright 1998. No, I don't think it is. Maybe. Maybe not. Harry Potter book. <sighs> there we go. Cap gun. I shot a cap gun for that. Any guesses who was trying to be there? <laughs> I have the. I've got a collection of like these type of guns. You're not allowed these anymore, are you? Like these, you don't find these in shops. This realistic. A couple here. Smith and Weston, forty-five. That was broke. Cool. What's this one? This is a Gibby Jeff eight two seven five three. So you put the. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, got a bag of bits. Oh, I remember that yo yo, Mr. Man yo yo. Um, I'm a collection of. Looks like I'm a collection of uh, pen knives. I think that's a First World War one there. I'm a Swiss Army knife there. I know what this is. So that's a Pokemon strategy guide uh, for Pokemon Blue. Um, I put the strategy guide in this cover and then inside ah, I drawn this. That's awesome. That is awesome that. And then that's my card collection. I don't think I ever had a, a shiny Cherizard, but if you see something that's worth like a hundred thousand pounds, please let us know. <laughs> I didn't have a lot and I didn't play the game, just sort of collected them for a little while. They're off from the original uh, run though. I love Growlithe. Jamander. Goldine, Goldine, Goldine. Voltor. This is all the uh, the noises they made on the anime, by the way. Diglet dig, diglet dig. 
<laughs> Pika, Pikachu. On yksi. Baba saa. I don't know what specific order I've put these in, I'm not sure. And you've got your trainer cards. Um, yeah, I just didn't, I don't know really, I just, I collected them but I didn't really pay much attention to them back in the day. Trainer cards. Energy cards. I tried to play the game a little bit with my cousins but we didn't really know what we were doing. And that's a poster at the back there of some kind. Yeah, it looks like the poster for the trading card game. So you put it out and then play on top of that. Ah, look at that, that's brilliant. I'll get that on display somewhere probably. Let's see, yeah. I had Pokemon Blue and I probably used this strategy guide to play the game. Awesome. And what's at the bottom? Lastly, certainly not least, is my Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles official medal collection. Now, I collected this, and my mum would I'd go with my mum to Woolworths, and they had like, um, no way you'd see the pick and mix style open countertops, uh, the shelving. They would just have these coins in stacks, and you'd sort through them to find which one you needed. I'm sure there was something like 50p each. And I collected them over time and I filled this in. Oh, this is amazing. I've seen this for ages. This is definitely going on display. That's so nice. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, Splinter, April, Blimp, Turtle Wagon, Krang, Shredder, Rocksteady, Bebop, General Trag, Foot Soldier and Casey Jones. Yes. Oh, look at that. That is iconic. I love it, 1990, so I was only five. I love turtles, absolutely love turtles. And finally, it is the Turtles, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, the power game. Can't remember playing it, but I've had it because it was turtles and it needed to be in my collection. <laughs> nice one. So yeah, there you go people, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, a lot more in there than I thought there was. Amazing. So many amazing memories in here. Can't wait to get some of this on display. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.